Hey guys, remember this Asus Essentio PC? I think I finally figured out what I'm going to do with it. Let's get started. You might recognize this computer. It's my wife's old PC. And I think I figured out what I'm going to do with this thing. Uh, I'm actually going to turn this into a virtual server. And that's going to let me do uh, a few things. But namely, it's going to give me a nice little platform to install various uh, pieces of software and some other test stuff that I'm going to be working on on the side. And, um, you know, with it only being just a few years old, it's actually a pretty good candidate to do something like this on. Uh, I do have a couple of rack servers right now in my uh, my cabinet. I've got an HP DL380 G3 and a Dell PowerEdge. I forget what the model is, but it's an older dual Pentium 3 PowerEdge. Um, those have been in my rack for a couple years and I don't I haven't used them very much lately so I've actually been thinking about getting rid of them uh, I don't know quite yet but um, this little PC is gonna work out fine I think um, especially for what I what I want to do with it so I think in this video I'm gonna throw in a few hard drives and uh, make sure those come up okay and uh, actually use some spare parts that I have and uh, see if I can't make this work I'm going to be putting some old hardware to good use. Uh, I've got a stack of older hard drives. These are uh, 80 gig SATA drives. Uh, this top one I think is 160 gig. Uh, and then uh, an older uh, DVD RW that I pulled out of a, a system that I got off of Craigslist. Well, this went real bad real quick. Um, you might be wondering why all of these parts are not in here. And uh, I took one of these little screws out that hold the um, CPU fan into the heatsink uh, because I wanted to get in and uh, try and clean the uh, heatsink out of dust. And when I was putting it back on inside the case, that little tiny black screw fell, hit the motherboard, and then rolled off into here. And as I was trying to get it, um, it was rattling around and it just sort of rolled uh, which I thought underneath the motherboard and not wanting to short anything out um, I started taking pieces out and of course the uh, screw is nowhere to be found so I think it all fell out when I was uh, taking everything out because I shook this and took the front or uh, the two side panels off and just totally uh, cannot find that screw so uh, I know for sure it's not underneath the motherboard <laughs> so I get to put everything back. What fun. One good thing about having to pull everything out is it reminded me to take the video card out. Uh, I will not be using this. Uh, this is an older uh, Radeon HD 4350 and this was my wife's uh, or the video card that I bought from my wife way back when and I still have the box so what I'll end up doing is putting it away and I'll probably just sell it either on Craigslist or eBay, one of the two. Alright, so maybe I will keep this card. Uh, inside the box that it came in, I found this low profile adapter, which will actually let me remove this whole thing and then pop this on and then I actually have a card that will fit into a um, smaller form factor case. Uh, the VGA connector here uh, is plugged in with this ribbon cable and this will just pop out. You can take this plate off pop this one on and uh, that actually makes this a pretty versatile little card to have so I think what I'll do is just put it away in the box and hang on to it that took a little longer than I wanted but I've got everything in the case so I've got my hard drives DVD drive and I did also install an extra Ethernet card uh, this is an old Netgear car that I've had laying around for a little while. As you can probably tell that this was uh, it's got a Windows Vista sticker on it so it's definitely old. Uh, but the reason why I did that is so I now have one, two uh, network jacks that I can plug into and since I'm going to be configuring this as a virtual server uh, that actually gives me some more resources to play with. Everything powered up, no issues. 
And if I come over to the BIOS screen, you'd see that the DVD drive, as well as the three hard drives that I installed, were recognized okay. So I think from a hardware side, I think I'll call this project done. Lastly, check out the description below, link to my Twitter account, and follow me there. You'll get updates on when my new videos are posted, as well as some random ramblings from me. And uh, people sometimes point and say down there, I don't know how effective that is, but whatever. Uh, so anyways, follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. See you next time.